This conference okay. will now be so recorded. Let's go ahead and work on likelihood. Just look at here. You know about local actions, right? Generally. So where does the local actions? How how can you access local actions, which we call an assignments, our flow, our case types? From where we can access those local actions? I'm asking a question. Actions. So if you have this place. From? From actions tab. From action drop down of work object form. So when you create a when you when a case is being created during the case processing, you'll be getting perform harness. In the perform harness at an assignment, action drop down is the place to access local actions which you call on assignment or which you call in flow design tab or which you call from case type two. So you should be aware of this action drop down. So coming to flow action now. So for, for one single assignment here, how many flow actions can be called? So in one single assignment, here you can see this is one connector. You may have another connector. One more connector. You may have one more connector. So like this, how many connectors I can have? A number of connectors. A number of connectors. Means how many flow actions you can call per assignment? Multiple flow actions. Multiple, Multiple flow actions you can call per assignment. Is it possible in case of screen flows? No. No, only one no. flow action can be called from the assignment sheet. So what is that? Only one flow action can be called only in screen one flow action because you will be calling flow action directly on the assignment sheet. In case of screen flow, we can call only one flow action per assignment. But in case of process flow, we can call multiple flow, flow actions per assignment. Now look at here, just to give you an idea. Here you go with. Further, next step after this assignment can be anything. It can be assignment or it can be anything else. So let me go ahead and have multiple connectors. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm adding multiple end shapes. How many end shapes can be there in a flow? Multiple end shapes. Multiple, multiple end shapes can be there. It's not only one, it can be a number of end shapes. Okay, now here this direction, I'm going to call one flow action. Address details flow action. Okay. So this direction, I'm going to call customer details flow action. Okay, anything, it can be anything. We are not going to deal with the respective action. We are just going to see whether it is being hit or not. So here you go. Next one, this direction, I'm going to call some auto details flow action. Okay, I, this is in here, uh, this one right. Last it is address is commercial personal vehicle for directly submit this now. If you're going to let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to turn off the draft mode just for instance, and here you go again. Let me save this and refresh. Now, in this assignment, we have three flow actions. It can be three or more flow actions that is possible. So what we need to discuss here is when work object reaches this assignment and this assignment is created. When this assignment is created as part of your transactional processing, out of these three, which flow action gets executed? So work object will be proceeding in which direction? That is what we need to discuss about. Let me close it and open it.
So here you go. So now if I'm going to run this, by default, I cannot tell you in which direction it will proceed. Okay, so it is as of now we have observed that address details flow action is being hit. Okay, now here you go with see whenever this flow action is executed, or whenever this flow is executed, an assignment is created, one of the flow actions out of these three has been displayed by default. What about the other two? The other two flow actions are available here in the action drop. Suppose if I choose personal vehicle information that gets loaded and you submit, what will happen? It will proceed from current assignment to next assignment because all of these here are flow actions. So by default, I want personal vehicle to be hit. It's not address details. I want customer search and address details to be there on action dropdown. I want by default personal vehicle details. Then if you double click on the connectors, you have likelihood option. What is the likelihood of, uh, option value? 100. A likelihood option value should be maximum 100. Suppose if I give 50 here, I, I give 30 here, and I'm going to give address details. Address details, what I'm going to give here? 20. And for personal vehicle details, I'm going to give 50. So now likelihood value of this connector is 50, and this is 20, this is 30. So now you can tell me which one is going to get executed. So now if you run this, personal vehicle gets executed. Likelihood value is going to tell the work object to proceed in which connector direction when we have multiple connect connectors per assignment. So whichever the connector has highest likelihood value, object is going to proceed to invoke that particular flow action. That is the importance of likelihood. Everyone clear with this? Yeah, uh, I mean the other flow actions turned into the local actions. Correct? No, the other flow actions will be available in the action dropdown. So though these are available in action dropdown, are these going to act as local actions or are these going to act as flow actions itself? Flow actions itself. Flow actions itself. Local anything you access from here, and perform that it will proceed from current assignment to next assignment other flow actions will be accessible from action drop down but these are not local actions these are still flow actions only uh, but harsha as we are design uh, developers we have action uh, tab and we can see all those flows but uh, end users also will have this action drop down but how end users will come to know these are available here is you need to mention here in the screen as a note. As a developer, you need to design all that. Arshaf, for an assignment as well, like when we, we, we had, there is an option to add the local actions, right? So I mean, if we add local actions for the assignment, the same, I mean, in the same actions drop room, we can see, right? So I mean, how can we find the difference between between these two? You cannot simply say by looking at this, this is local action. That is a knowledge, business oh. knowledge. You cannot simply say it is a local action or flow action. Maybe you can follow some naming conventions as a developer, but end users, they don't bother about all of this stuff. That is the application knowledge. Okay. Uh, Harsha, if there is a two, uh, two low, uh, flow action and the value are same, like 50 and 50, it is possible? Now, so, if the low likelihood value is same for all connectors, then which direction it may proceed? I will tell you answer which you have to give in interviews, but it is not true. This is alphabetical order of flow action name. That is what you have to say in interviews. So I request you to try to do it by yourself. Okay, and execute multiple test cases. It is not one flow. Like this, you create three flows, use different different flow actions, and give the connector value same and try to execute. This alphabetical order, I don't think so it will be true practically, but the answer you have to give in interviews is when the values of likelihood, val likelihood values are same, it will take alphabetical order of the flow action, rest will be there in the action drop down. That will not be true practically if you see. You can go ahead and try it once from your end. Next. Thank you. But Harsha, when do we use such scenarios like 
this likelihood it is very simple see your assignment may have either of the flow actions two or three you want user to perform either of these as per his need okay let me tell you see suppose you have the approval assignment approval assignment you have a flow action that is all the details approve reject button you have another flow action all the details approve reject button plus additional documents that is second flow action you want suppose if if uh, what is that if manager wants to attach the documents that will be the knowledge for manager when he is accessing it by default you display a flow action without attachments i have slightly good value suppose you want to attach documents so he will click on action drop down he will access the second flow action and attachments instead of the first one so then he will be displayed with same details of approve reject plus a place to browse and attach the documents he will attach documents and approve reject that is the knowledge given to him that is one simple scenario uh, other other than that there can be other situations suppose this is the flow action which you have called so there are some over to be flow actions what is this flow action cancel assignment so cancel assignment is going to cancel the processing of this assignment to delete and it will proceed to next level means you are not performing anything here see if it is being routed to someone someone has to act on this flow action by default but they have a choice they do not want to work on this assignment for some reason they want to cancel this particular assignment so what they will do instead of submitting they will go to action drop down here action drop down and they choose the option of cancel flow cancel assignment so then a screen will get displayed they will submit that screen assignment will get cancelled that is an optional provision given as a second flow action clear with this yes thank you like this there can be n number of situations specific to your business and generic to prpc as well this is about likelihood okay let me go ahead and tell you about admin studio that is available here in prpc 